Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 92 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castlemeister. Before I take off I have some notes on what I want to equip here. Dragon Scale Shield. Crimson Mantle. And... That thing. And here. Nope, that wasn't right. There she is. Look at her. That's Black Oshuli. Or Kruoyoko, as I like to call her. As she was described in one game. But anyway. Now I've got this set together on Mikshuan as she gets an extra attack and defense. And I can't believe I didn't have a shield on her all this time. But then we've just been doing these trials with her and they have not been martially oriented yet lately. But that's about to change. Mama, okay. I have a pretty good deal of business and a lot of talking to do, so. So it's dark. And, in addition to that, Kataruto's feeling a bit uneasy. And then, for a while now, there's been this echoing sound. Several, uh, the cries of several animals coming in. And, as expected, it's not the cry of animals, it's the cries of dragons. And it seems like there's a lot of them. So, let's carry ourselves strongly through here. こちらに届いてくる音と振動から、その大きさはある程度推測できます。確かにこちらを見張る視線は巨大な肉体を持つものからのそれであり、とても威圧的です。Well, in addition to the sounds they're making now that we've arrived, we can tell that they they're pretty huge out there in the darkness. At least we can speculate that much. And it's true that they're all looking at us. And that's pretty overpowered. But she's come this far in the overcoming these trials. So we may as well push on through and prove to them what we can do. So, yeah, that's right. After all, she's come this far and grown this much in order to show everybody she's worthy. So she's really scared, but she's still going wants to give it her best. So that's the spirit. Certainly the late Shiuketo is also watching over her warmly. Hey, is that so? But it is pretty dark, it's hard to see going forward. So ahead we can see a light. Oh, I think I see it. Probably they're telling us we need to head for that area. So in addition to the cries of the dragons, there's also the sound of something falling. Rosaline seems to think it's sand or something. Well, in any case, we know where we're going. Let's go. <laughs> so, Katri is just saying to herself that her father's watching over her. Huh? 
したらこの竜族たちは And this is the place where her ancestors sleep, so perhaps all these dragons are. But let's not finish the sentence, will we? No, we're not going to start with any cryptic hint of what we need to do this time. How disappointing. No, no. Now, up to now, these trials have not been very difficult as far as, well, enemy power goes. It's just been, you know, read what they tell you to do and then do what they tell you to do. I hate that Hydra so much. But this time we actually have to fight and it's a rather difficult fight. Oh yeah, in my trial run I fought the boss and decided to take a look at him. Enough of that. But... Seven times two. Yeah, it works for me. <coughs> mm, Fifteen times two. Yeah, I want... What's his name? Avaro and you to get level ups because they're the only ones remaining at level 28. I believe Avaro's right on the cusp. Well, it's a crappy level up, but... It's only because... That was a dragon claw. It's only because all of his stats are crap. At their cap already. I expect at level 30, he'll get his stat caps raised. Isn't it nice having you around? Those guys will come close, but they won't actually fight him. They just register him as a big old blank they can't get by. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. An important part of this map is managing your character's lives because, well, your characters can die. And if it's anybody other than the two summons, then you lose the map. Which is so frustrating, I can't believe it. Just fighting this time. Now fighting this dark Hydra. 
Total it's probably Kaisa. ideal to have somebody on that feather because that thing has a ton of hit points. Okay, this Dark Hydra, if it has two of your characters in its space, will usually try to do its area of effect attack. Fortunately, Avaro and... Like I was saying, fortunately, Avaro and Mikshuana are both pretty resistant to fire. Perhaps on the first turn it also threw one of those, so it may not decide to throw it because it doesn't have it already yet. But I would have thought it did. In any case. Something else to smack down. Oh. That was unusual. One of those attacks that makes you want to pull on this thing not only did a critical hit but also did a piercing. And since it's got such high physical defense, it did 40 damage to it. I've never gotten that uh, to happen. Mm -hmm. Smackdown. Yeah, this will be fine. Because the point is to get it low enough that you can kill it. He needs the experience. Right there. Mm, Dragon Claw. This dragon also has an area of effect. has a area effect attack. But it looks like we're not going to be having a problem with it this turn at the very least. Just whomever. Haha. <laughs> attack and attack. He only very rarely uses his other attack though. Oh yeah, this thing.
Now again, I don't want to get in range of that dragon because I just hate those aerial effect attacks so much. No, I was having expecting him to throw one. Let's see. Now that all my characters have gotten to level 29, at least, time to start hitting people. This would be so much more convenient if Michuana had a lightning attack, lightning spear, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, there it was. I may as well give it to Katorito. She's at her stat caps too, but... <laughs> this is a pretty awesome rank up. So, Dragon Priestess, who feels the dragon blood. Dragon Bane. Dragon Blood. No. Yeah. I should have mentioned while the screen was still up. Now she has four movement points instead of three. Awesome, right? Attack, do attack and attack and speed works for me. I think in one of my trial runs, I got nothing out of her level up there. Katorito won't be useful against that particular dragon. Because she's weak against Sir. She isn't weak against Sir, is she? And not very much, at least. So yeah, let's start moving in. And we just keep trying to wear this sucker down. I think the person who finally enabled us to really hurt this guy significantly was... Oh, space out. Rosaline. Oh yeah, see, she's a little weak against Earth, but the big thing is that she doesn't have all that much physical defense. Although that equipment I equipped her with is probably helping. She doesn't do much damage either. Okay. Wait, you ever got the mining equipment on? Alright, freebie for us. 
But we better move, move Mikshana over here because that thing has four movement points and we don't want it stomping on Rosaline. A 30 stone. Uh, great, I guess. Bah. It hit me with confusion, so I can't capture it. Well, not with Mikshuana, until it wears off. Hmm. I is running out of spell points. Oh, you bastard. Come this next turn. This enemy can just come to me instead of me trying to fight it. Hmm, interesting. Not really useful, but interesting. Oh. Also interesting. You just wait here. You know what? Eyes low on spell points, so let's just call her back. Good chance we can capture it in the next couple of turns at least. Ah, hell, let's go for it. Rat bastard. And it cursed her again. Mm, wait, no. That's getting a borrow too close. Well, whatever, I'm not too picky about who captures it. Uh, 
正しいことのために。I like what she says at level up. Uh, bladed Earth Dragon Claw. Alright. So we didn't get any cryptic hints. You just wipe everybody out and it opens up for us. No, I don't have any use for a Varro any longer. I have a specific strategy for dealing with what's on the other side of that door. And I just now managed to remember that I need to swap some equipment around here. Now, Rosaline has the suing my shield. Which is my best light shield in terms of physical defense. So I'm going to swap that on to Katorito. I mean, wouldn't you know it? This is all about Katorito's growth and the boss in here really likes to attack her in particular. But wait for it. That was five large healing potions, which is pretty rare. As well. Actually, on second thought, no. We need Rosaline out in open space so she can still summon. This is a defense buff that Mikshuana has always had, and I've never used. Alright, we can start next turn. So, we finally arrived at the place where the light was shining. So, as expected with the trials going on so long, the individual enemies are getting pretty tough. What's this? It's like something's overshadowing us. Oh crap, Katarito. You need to shave. So, this is another grown dragon. Quite an impressive one even. So, it's basically saying this is your final test. Hey, Katarito, what are you doing? Just standing there shaking. So, this figure is... Could that be her father? Uh, wait. Didn't he die? Well, no, without a doubt, this is certainly her father. So, this bad feeling she's had since a while back turned out to be this. So, all those dragons that are watching from the shadows are apparently her ancestors' images. Since they're here in this holy ground for the dragons, they're here to guide and protect their descendant. Isn't that awesome? So in that case, this final test is... Oh, 
to fight her father and prove herself. So that's the final test in order to inherit the leadership of the dragons. And the way that you prove yourself to your ancestors. So this is how her father got leadership in the Thunderhead Sea. And she too will, will try her very best. But is this alright? You finally get to meet him again and now you have to fight him. Well, she thought that she would never get to meet him again. But to be able to meet him again, it's like a miracle to her. And furthermore, she came here to prove herself. So, she finally gets to meet him one more time and show him directly how much she's grown. So, she's actually getting fired up here. So, it's painful to be parting with people, but she needs to face forward and continue on. And with this, show her power to everyone. So she's showing that she has grown enough in order to lead the dragon tribes. <laughs> so, well said. That proves you have the medal for leading people. <laughs> Rosaline is glad for cooperating in this endeavor as well. Seeing a child grow up is a proud thing. <laughs> Mikshirana says that although it isn't much, she will too will do her best to help. So let's give it all we got. So I earlier thought that this was her adolescent form. Perhaps the cut in that comes when she gets a critical hit, but it isn't. Oh, there's our final condition. Defeat Shiku Shukato and we win the map. Now Shiukato here also has an area of effect attack. And it is really painful. But fortunately he won't use it on this first turn. <laughs> oh man. Now the key here is to keep your characters from having two in any given direction such that he would feel inclined to use his area of effect. Also, yeah, he won't counterattack if you attack him, so that's a free attack. And on the other hand, we have Kaltorito here. Papa-sama, I'll see you in my 
So, speaking to her father, she asks him to over to view her growth so far, and when she wins against them, show that she is an appropriate person to be leading the dragon tribes. This could take a while. Now that's the reason why I boosted her defense up with all those equipments. This guy has a ton of attack. Fortunately, as long as we know who he's going to attack, we are pretty safe. And Yu is here for one reason, basically. Although he can attack Shiokatol with impunity, he's there to open the chest. Let's see, 6 damage, 6 damage, 11 damage. Great. Now, Rosaline is here too, but if we have her attack, she gets annihilated, really. But fortunately, we have an improved Wind Spirit necklace, giving her 50% resistance to magic, and now she only takes one. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Oh. I suppose you should be wary. Shuketol has the humanoid killer. So whenever he attacks a human like Rosaline or... Hmm, we don't have a lot of humans in our party right now, do we? Well, it also affects Avaro and Rishu and Seiri. Anyway, plus 10 whenever you... He attacks one of those guys. Which is why, if at all possible, you don't want those guys in here. With the possible exception of Rosaline with a ton of lightning resistance. Oh, yes. Defense buff. Now, in a formation like this, Shiokatol the once attacked Mikshuana instead of Katorito. So I still don't have the ins and outs of his AI completely figured out. I think when he gets low on life he starts acting up. But who knows, it could be anything. Blue? Yeah. So, uh, some kind of holy shoes. I never did take a look at that in my... Mm, excuse me. In my trial runs. This is the one. Well, it says holy and everything, but it doesn't change your resistances. But it's got good defense. Shoes, more commonly, have no defense buffs and instead increase your dodge. But this way or that way... That reminds me. Shu Kezold actually doesn't have much SP and that one attack he uses takes a ton of it. Almost a third. Free shot. So perhaps with this, Rosaline will be able to finish him off and get a level up. Or hell, maybe not, I don't know. Looks a little out of the realm of possibility. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there's always next turn. Alright, level up, level up. Maybe a rank up too, that would be nice. Sweet. Magic deck, also sweet. Hey now. This hasn't happened in my trial runs yet. Alright. Magic deck, magic defense, speed, luck. Luck! That's very good. She doesn't get much of it. And she's a darkness world messenger. Hey, she can be immune to poison and reduce magic def and a full heal item. Regular stuff. All right, we won. So we beat him. We were able to win against her father. So this Shiokettle dragon looks down at her as she's huffing in victory and smiles slightly. But then his body starts to fade away in those white dust and disappears in space. <gasps> So, it turns out he's going to leave again. But she'll be alright. She's going to do her best. In order to take up the reins of the dragons after him, she'll do her best, so rest in peace. And once he's fully disappeared, from somewhere there's that falling sand sound. Along with that, something comes into, falls into, right in front of Katorito. Ooh. It seems to be some kind of weapon for Katorito's use. So, we could say this is her father giving her a push from behind and also giving him giving her a memento of him how nice so she takes it gently and well now all the dragons start roaring it's a celebration okay so seems like they approve of you now Yep, they've recognized her as the heir to the dragons. Well, that's good. So, we'd better return to the castle. Since we finished all these trials, he's wondering if everyone's alright. So, something happened there, didn't it? Yeah, probably. Avoro gets the feeling like a Fia is calling him. Now, normally he would say that it was just his imagination, but under the current circumstances, being God and Apostle and all, he doesn't think it's imagination this time. Alright, so we can head there immediately. Since she's gotten through these trials, the five of us which will probably be a considerable benefit in a battle. Ah, character growth. Isn't she awesome? Yeah, she acts a little bit more like an adult now. Even in her kid form. Yeah, let's go. And... This time we get to face the regular dragons and see if they'll accept her. 
Right. This was a problem that her father left behind. So, as his daughter, she'll take care of it. So, in order to protect everyone, as fast as possible, we need to quiet down the dragon tribes that are following Kalmerg. All right, then, let's go. So now that she's uh, gotten a little of a grown-up feel to add it to her face, she takes the lead and we head back to the castle. But, whoops, I'm going to cut off here. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.